Welcome back, my dudes. I was stealing my daughter's energy drink from the fridge today, and it got me thinking about heists in D&D, and thinking about D&D is fun. Not too long ago, D&D released Keys from the Golden Vault, which is a campaign in and of itself. But I don't run it as a campaign. I run it as individual adventures that I can drop into my homebrew sessions because they're well thought out and unique. And it's great because their design allows you to snap them in just about anywhere in Faerun. And some of you may have seen an episode of Viva La Dirt League's D&D that came out in the last two or three months where they did a heist scene. And you may have noticed that the players struggled initially with the idea of doing a heist versus the usual go and get the thing and come back type quest. Yes, but then you could kill people. Okay. Yeah, but I don't have a counter argument. That's a strong argument. So how do we drop a heist in our campaigns and have it really work? How do we make sure our players understand that this is a heist and not some murder hobo bullshit that they're just going to hack their way through? We need to try to switch their mindset a little bit. And in order to switch their mindset, we need to put up some rails. Just a little bit. Just to make sure that they understand that they're not going to just run this the same way they did the last six quests they did. So for starters, let's create an impossible target. Not completely impossible, but just hard enough to thwart or at least discourage that grenade approach that they're probably already planning. So for the purposes of this video, let's create an ancient tome that's sitting in the desk of an archmage who oversees the operations of a prison. And once you've laid that MacGuffin, you can start to build up in the minds of your players just how formidable this place is. Show them the security, show them the guards patrolling, show them the towers manned, and show them the runes that are on the gates to the prison. Our goal here is just to make our players take this seriously. They've come across a task, a quest that they can't simply hack and slash their way through. Next, we need consequences. We need to let them know this is really serious. Let's talk about how somebody just walking close to the gate was apprehended by the gate guards, taken in and in, in prison for months before they were able to get free. We want to raise the stakes because that adds tension, it adds challenge to the players. They really don't want to get caught. Might not be a terrible idea to make sure they know they are completely outnumbered. So now you have your players, they're taking it seriously. They understand that the task is going to take some planning, but we need to dangle that first carrot. We need to help them in the planning process by giving them that first foothold. So for the first little clue, the first little inkling of the plan, let's toss it right in their lap. Let's say that a disgruntled worker is also in the tavern and he's talking to the bartender and he's complaining up and down bitching because they shortchanged him on a job he did for the prison. He spent all these months building this prison and then he got shortchanged at the end. Your players are likely to pick up on that and they're gonna realize this might be an asset. Is anybody who built the prison probably would understand the layout of the prison better than anybody. They might even have plans. Now to keep the tension up, to keep the excitement going, let's add a ticking clock. Let's add a time constraint. Make up some reason why they need to pull off this heist in the next two days. Also mix in a couple red herons. We need to have them have some bum leads. Heists are a lot like mystery adventures or campaigns. You need that failure in order to make success that much more meaningful. So maybe they spend the next six hours just want them detached from the group. He's shadowing a guard through town only to find out later that that guard is brand new, just got hired, and has absolutely no intel on the shift rotations. And while your players are going through all their crazy schemes, it's important that you as the DM, you stay engaged with the players while they're doing it. So listen to them, listen to their ideas, listen to them plan. It's very likely that your players are going to grasp onto some minute fact and potentially draw the wrong conclusion. And sometimes as DMs, it's a good thing if we let our players misunderstand something. But if what they're misunderstanding would have been clear to their characters in the moment, then it's actually miscommunication between the DM and the players. And you need to clarify that because what you don't want is to have them get halfway through this heist that they spent all this time planning and they're super excited about only to fail it because they misunderstood a few words that you might have mentioned earlier in the session. So as a general rule of thumb, regardless of what type of game I'm playing, if me as the DM, I hear my players talking about something that their characters would know differently, then I go and correct them because I probably failed to communicate that properly. Hopefully they'll take notes this time, but who knows. Now as they're planning, as they're scheming, as their plan starts to shape up, pay attention to what their inclinations are. Pay attention to where they're gravitating towards. They may have found out that the guards every hour will do a rotation around the prison, and they do so with dogs. Maybe they think the dogs might be a way in. So what you can do to encourage this kind of free thought is to put the kennel someplace just on the outside of the prison where they actually have a chance to get to the kennel to interact with the dogs if they have some sort of 
speak with animals or wild shape plan. And if they took that first clue that you dropped in their lap about the uh, the guy at the bar who was disgruntled, let them negotiate with that guy. And maybe they get the plans to the prison. Maybe on the plans also is something they never saw before, which is that there's an intricate sewer system that leads right under the gates. And that leads us to the execution. Their plan is in place. They're ready to do it. Encourage your players to set a time or a trigger, what they're going to do and how they're going to do it, where people are going to be positioned. You want to get them in the mindset of considering this like an Ocean's Eleven heist. You want them thinking that way. Everybody has a role. Everybody's skills should shine. So make sure that there's obstacles that a rogue can get past or there are obstacles that a barbarian can get past. It can be really fun to split the party, especially if you have some sort of communication that they can do uh, by sending stones or whatever you come up with. And once their plan actually starts rolling out and they start going through things, make sure you have a plan B. They should have a plan B. And if they don't, then you also as the DM should have a plan B because you need to know what happens when they fail. Because let's face it, dice just rarely ever agree with our plans. And so that heist mission this session, this game night, might turn into a prison break the next night. And finally, when your players are going at it and they're attempting their heist, be fair. Understand their plan and understand what the security measures are that you know are in place, including the ones they might not know about. And if they come across something they didn't account for, they didn't know about, give them an opportunity on the fly to fix it. Maybe an unexpected guard in a hallway they didn't expect to see. And maybe that guard decides he's going to question them before he's going to sound the alarms. And then perhaps your players can talk their way out of the problem or fight their way out of the problem but they, either way they go they better do it quietly and always remember that heists are about the journey not the destination and you as a dm you nailing this heist scene this entire game night it's either going to end with triumphant victory or hilarious defeat but either way it's going to be interesting and that's it for this time guys be sure to like and subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you guys next time